What's up, Nick? How's it going, man? Hey, what's up? Nothing Yo, much, what's up, man. Nick? Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> chilling, chilling. Doing the road show here. What's up, man? Yeah, not much. I uh, just saw this uh, new information. Big surprise. Wow. <laughs> I am absolutely shocked that uh, Gay Stoner from Kiwi Farms is an anti tranny. Who would have seen that coming, right? Yeah. Who, who would have imagined? I know. This is just. Yeah, didn't you? Like, I'm pretty sure you mentioned that account on one of your shows or your super chats or something. I'm- Am I? Yeah, no, you're right. I, I think I did at one point. I think because uh, that that's the one that's always obsessed with my diet. Yes, I'll, yes, uh, yes. I'll post a hot dog and they're like, oh. "What the fuck is that, man? It looks like shit." And it's like, really? <laughs> I mean, the hot dog. You leave me alone. Yeah. Um, well, it's like that because some of these people are so obsessive. I posted somebody yesterday. My, uh, you know, my fiance posted a picture uh, of my daughter, and she would change her in a, you know, like uh, at Target or whatever, and took a picture of it. And they're like, "What are you doing? This is your what is this your house? Like, you know, like breaking down the the changing tables? Like, dude, that she took it out of Target. Like, what is your fucking problem? Uh, you can't help but notice, I guess, is what I'm saying. Somebody who's just like completely obsessive uh, about insane shit. Yeah. Well, and. Uh- you know, over the past few weeks, Man we've fading. learned a lot about what's that? Is that no, go ahead. Chat? No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'll play him again. Um, him. Yeah, it's we've learned a lot about the people that are spreading all these lies. It's literally the worst people in the world. It's like Lauren Southern. It's BAP. It's people like this. Um, and the one person we haven't really learned enough about yet is Judas. And Ethan, I was going to ask you. Uh, if you wanted to do a kill stream, maybe on an upcoming weekend and go into maybe like a deep dive on that whole story. You know, and, and you know what? Uh, I heard this. I've been listening to a lot of your spaces uh, and I didn't hear this particular one, though. But some people in my audience did. And they mentioned that you had said that. I mean, the answer is obviously 100 percent. Yes, uh, I would love to do that. Uh, and when I heard the proposal, I was like, yeah, uh, that would be great uh, because the guy's been taking a lot of pot shots. Uh, and you know, I have my own feelings about him, just kind of despicable trader type figure. Uh, and so, yeah, I would love that. Sweet. Yeah. Cause I was thinking we'd get you like baked, maybe Beardson on there. Yeah. And, like uh, we did that one yeah. night. Yeah. I think that'd be a great yeah. mix. Uh, and I'm going to be back yeah. this Sunday night. So maybe the weekend after that might be good. Um, I think I'll be out of town that okay. weekend, but maybe the weekend after That's that. That's fine. Yeah, well, I'm week. pretty sure we people, I was going to say, people will tune in uh, for that one regardless. So, yeah, maybe uh, like the 18th or 19th. Yeah, that, that might work for great, I think. So, yeah, I'm down for Sweet. that. Sweet, yeah, because there, there's a lot of that, you know, because initially I didn't even want to get into the nasty stuff because, um, honestly, it was just sort of an unfortunate situation. Sure. And, you know, I had to dispute the allegations and, you know, now as time has gone on, I think people see what's really going on there. It's got nothing to do with me or the foundation. It's got to do with these psycho sort of nut jobs. Um, So now I kind of want to go and tell my side of the story about, you know, how all this started and really exactly the kind of people that are doing this shit to me. Because we've learned, like I said, we learned a lot about Costin Alamariu, Bronze Age pervert who has been amplifying the attacks, Lauren Simonson and her fucking gay producers. And we're getting a feel for for the profile of the other side. And then you got a guy like Judas who's kind of gotten off, I think, a little bit easy. And I, uh, I think that's going to change. So I do too. And I think part of it is, I mean, look, I've had the same thing happen to me where like, you know, your good friend, best friend even just stabs you in the back publicly. And you want to just kind of, you know, you say a couple things or whatever. And then it's almost like, I mean, it's fucking, it's a shitty thing to happen, honestly. Uh, and you're just like, oh, well, this guy just, fucking you know i don't even want to talk about this guy but the problem is uh somebody like judas somebody like gator quite frankly in my case um you know they don't have anything else dude like i mean they're they have to be the anti nick guy the anti ralph guy the anti whoever guy because like what else is he gonna do right like i mean uh and yeah i think he's been I think he's been getting getting off a little light, uh, quite frankly. Uh, and to me, a guy like that, uh, I've said this for years. This is not a new take of mine. Uh, but somebody who stabs his his 
compatriots in the back, his best friend in the back. Nobody trusts that guy or even really likes that guy. Um, that's just a that's just a shitty person. Uh, everybody knows he's shit. Everybody knows he's garbage. Uh, and that goes for anybody, right? I said the same thing when Ian Malshong, you know, he used to be a feminist and all this stuff. And, you know, and he stabbed all his friends in the back and leaked all these messages. And it's like, okay, well, you're just a rat. I mean, I didn't like any of those people, but... You're not a good person. Like, nobody can trust that. So, yeah, I just think fundamentally um, the guy is flawed. Uh, And you look at him, he looks like a bum now, dude. Like, I mean, he's (laughs) – I don't know. It doesn't – it's not a good look. Uh, And so I think that that tells a lot too, honestly. Yeah, well, uh, you know, he's evil. He's pure evil now. And uh, that's represented on the outside too. He's he's rotten from the inside out. And – He's really sort of hitting the wall as like a young male. It's kind of it's it's as a Kleinfelter to, to XXY male. He's hitting the wall. The hairline is beating a hasty uh, retreat. Uh, complexion's rough. You know he's having a rough time over there. Um, and really, he's just sort of a craven, sick individual. I mean, this is. He wants to air out dirty laundry about me, and it's so funny. I mean, what's the worst thing that could be even said? Like, uh, I listened to Miley Cyrus. Like, this is a craven, (laughs) sick individual. Wait, wait, hold on. You did watch, like, a cringe TV show, dude. Come yeah. on. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all hey, no. in fairness. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, there's some dirt on me too. But yeah, I mean, it's just amazing <laughs> that people are going to go and talk shit as though he didn't tell me every fucked up little thing he's ever done since the time he was in high school. Uh, but I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint a picture. I'm I'm gonna be like Rembrandt. I'm gonna be mm. like Da Vinci. I, I'm gonna paint a picture for you of the psychological profile of a very sick sort of sad, deranged man with, um, you know, perhaps gay tendencies, uh, pedophilic tendencies. We're going to get into it all. We're going to get into every little uh, bit of it. Yeah, this is a very (laughs) fucked up and sick person who I've really been protecting. And I was protecting him because I still had love for him. That's all gone now that, you know, any, any, you know, bit of camaraderie that was there is now finished. We're going to get into the time that he made an advance on me. We're going to get what? into, oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Shit. Yeah, oh, we're going to get into, shit. well, listen, I'll just say this much. I'll just say this much. <laughs> At Outback 3, oh, no. you know, he was still, we were still cool. He was still Mr. Nice Guy at Afpac 3. Oh, Nick, I'm so honored that you made me a special guest. Oh, Nick, can we get a picture at the VIP dinner? You know, I was still being Mr. Nice. He was still Mr. Nice Guy back then. And then, you know, I think what contributed before all this drama, I broke the snap streak. So, you know, part of me wonders, oh, no. it's like, maybe it was that. And so is this really just some kind of, like, twisted, like, sick, like, love that he had for me? I, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to get an explore oh, all yeah. of that. Yeah, you, mentioned the, you mentioned the Masters here. I just saw Caravaggio today. He's kind of a dark guy. I think it might be more of a Caravaggio-type experience uh, <laughs> that night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that makes so much more sense because, like, everyone's like, yeah, Jay, you know, Jaden's asking, you know, or he's acting like this, like, ex-girlfriend, and he's like, this is not how a little friend dispute goes down. I'm telling you, this is not how it happens. He's going nuclear, not just on you, but on me, Beardson, Tenrio, of all people. Like, this dude was clearly, he clearly wants, he wanted something that he couldn't have, mm. and I think, <laughs> I think we're getting to the bottom of it, but holy shit, this is... This is like crazier than I thought it would actually be. This is nuts. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. And like, I, at first I was sort of like, well, and you know, what's funny is I was, I was talking to some people about it as it happened. I said, well, I said, you know, I, I think there might be like a reason why this is happening. Mm. And I told them the story and they're like, oh yeah, dude, who's definitely gay too? Who's definitely yeah. so, so I'm curious to hear what you guys will have yeah. to say about it. I'm curious maybe what oh. the audience, you know, and then, and by the way, I here's the difference between me and other people. I don't lie. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't tell lies. You know, yeah. they made some insinuations and some things, some things I talked about, some things I said I can't talk about for legal reasons, but 
you know, my credibility remains intact after all this. Everything that I've said is has borne out. Everything that I've said is borne out to be vindicated, whereas what they have said is collapsed. Yeah. Um, so I'll say, you know, when I say he made an advance, that's my right hand to God. That is mm-hmm. my right hand to guy. Look you dead in the eye, legit, real. <laughs> Damn. Um, and I and I'll tell and and I'll I'll get into it, and we can get to the bottom of it. This is what they want. This is how they wanted to play. They, said they that, want yeah. to play drama. They house always wins, right? <laughs> that's that was <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how oh, they say? It? So um, I cannot wait for this. Well, he's episode. asking. He's asked for it this weekend. Like, can you do it this weekend? Nah, uh, well, I wait. Ah, oh, not th- this weekend. I'm going to be I out think, of town. I think the anticipation is going to make it even better. Uh, and <laughs> cool. honestly, the like, I mean, he wanted it this way. I saw some of your streams. Honestly, you were a lot nicer. Of course, you know, you're good friends with the guy, right? And like I just said, it's not a good feeling to have something like this happen. And it's like, well, you still want to keep some love there. You still want to keep some good feelings. Like, well, maybe, you know, maybe if he later down the line, if he gets right or whatever. And I'm sitting there like, fuck this guy. You know, um, and he kept going. It's not even just that he did his bullshit on the first, you know, uh, chemo casino. He kept going. He he keeps bullshitting. The other day when they tried to fucking smear you with the fake Twitter account, he got in on that too with a bunch of fake bullshit, which honestly was the fucking funniest thing because he did a whole show just with complete fantasy uh, throughout his whole show. And then by the end of the, like right at the end of the show, it was completely obvious that the whole account was fake and the whole thing was a gay op. And it's like, okay, so that was just like one long fucking fictional exercise, right? Uh, and so he's, um, to me, he's asked for, you know, he's asked for a thorough review of the events. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, because I wanted to walk away, sure. take the high road, but he keeps coming back for more. He, This is what he wants. He wants my attention. He, this, he wanted a big, ugly... Uh, divorce or something like that. You want a big, you know, spectacular, right. like you said, ex-girlfriend energy. Okay, well, you yeah. got it. You wanted to, you wanted to rummage through my dirty laundry and stiff my dirty underwear. Okay, fine. Then uh, you know we we can two can play at that game. That's right. We could get into all of the, uh, you know, all of the different things. That's the best part is, uh, you know, when you betray your best friend. Well, it cuts both ways. Yeah, I've I've heard a lot of fucked up things, and uh, you know now now we can have sort of an equal sharing in the fallout from that. So yeah, so I'm I've been collecting my notes because you know I think of like a new thing every day. That's the thing is me. I have a great memory, so I I'm li- literally looking at uh, I'm looking at some notes that I wrote down on my notebook. There's just like twenty fucking disgusting things in here. We've got DMs. We've got a body count. We've got <sighs> The advance, which is maybe oh. I think the most interesting story. I can't That's wait. I don't even think he remembers. He was so he was so drunk. Oh, yeah, it was one of those. No. <laughs> oh. no. Oh man. We have we have like he's not oh. and, and by the way, he's not the only one in his family to come on to somebody in my family. Oh, no. <laughs> So we've got we've got exes. He we've runs got, in the family. Huh? Oh yeah. Let's just say let's just say the McNeils like the Fuentes. The oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the McNeils love the Fuentes. <laughs> <love them. laughs> they like the Hispanics. I don't know. Runs in the runs in the blood. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. Uh, um, there's like a, oh man, there's some weird Instagram <laughs> shit. Boy, oh boy. It's, it's oh, going to be, this it's going to be good. It's, it's oh, going to be epic. I actually like that. It's like a little bit away too, because it's yeah. going to build it up even more. Um, like what, about two weeks from now, a couple, a little bit more than that. Yeah. I think that'd be perfect. But the 18th, if you, we'll, we'll talk off air. Too, it's pretty but. fitting to do it, you know, during Jaden's favorite month, pride month, you know, <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQIA intersect. Now, where did he go, by the way? I mean, I don't know if if you're comfortable saying or whatever, but I mean, it looks like he's on hard times at his parents' house or something. Like he's streaming from some corner or some fucking. I don't know. To me, the optics could be improved a little bit uh, if he even cared about not looking like a piece of shit. (laughs) Piece of shit. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just a bad look. 
he's losing his hair like yeah before dude. Me, before, and he's like, in like the corner of the room dude i literally look better in some random hotel in madrid just on my webcam than this guy like i mean he, he looks in bad shape <laughs> like it's off in some corner like in some closet or some shit like i don't know it's just uh it could be improved, I would think. Yeah, well, he's, he's uh, I feel bad. It's kind of funny that all of his uh, simp people keep giving him money to not stream. Like, he's, <laughs> how many times has this dude even streamed, like, in the past six months? And then since the, uh, since he decided to flame out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you have to feel bad for the pay pigs on the Jaden stream. They keep shelling out money and money. And then he goes on vacations. Oh, thanks for the money. Now I don't have to stream for a week. And then he goes out and then, you know, so imagine like not only does he flame out, but then he provides no content to his own audience. The other thing too, that I feel really bad for the donor because the donor sure. has like autism and me and Jaden used to laugh and laugh at the donor, man, we would fucking laugh. He'd be like, oh, this fucking retard wants me to beat MLB the show for him. He's paying me to beat video games for him. <laughs> we used to laugh and laugh. We took his Sox tickets. He went to the Sox game. We had a great time and we laughed. You know, oh boy, that guy's a fucking retard. He's got a weird <laughs> voice and this and that. So, I mean, yeah, you got to feel bad. This, but that's, but that's the thing is, you know, I, I have been under the impression, this is a, this is a little piece of advice, you know, when Jaden quit turning point and betrayed everybody in turning point, I was like, oh boy, this is good for me. And I brought him in and then he betrayed everybody in America first and let that be a lesson. If somebody's going around betraying people, even if it's like good for you in the moment, that person's still a traitor. If a person is a traitor, they're a traitor. They may be betraying your enemy you know, yep. one day they'll be betraying you tomorrow. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so 100% that's just how it up. That's just how it goes, you know, 100%. Um, and look, you know, the a sad fact is 80% or more of these people online are traitors, <laughs> just bad people. Yeah. Uh, and so you've been around a while. Bake's been around a while. So have I. Uh, and, you know, I found that out the hard way. Uh, now, you know, what can you do, right? You still have to try to work with people. You still have to, you know, uh, learn some hard ways, right? But, um, yeah, the unfortunate fact is that's the case. Uh, and you just kind of have to uh, jettison people when you need to and, and, and move on from that. But, man, um, I, w I would say even online, I guess, in these circles, the percentage of, of traders and snakes is even higher than real life. I, I don't think that that's a stretch to say. Yeah, no, not at all. It's um, it's Well, it's Internet and it's politics. Yeah. It's what it right. is, you yeah. know, especially politics. Politics is nasty. Um it's true. So it's, it's jealousy, it's mediocrity, it's all these kinds of things interwoven. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if, a, if a person's a snake, they're a snake, that's, that's their character. And, uh, so, but, but this is, uh, this is, it's our turn now, you know, that's we right. me, you, you and I, Ralph, you know, we've been attacked all month. It's true. Um, and now we're learning who the attackers are. You know, we're learning about that's all right. these different people. And um, now, well, we're settling now, in. Notice, now they don't want any part of it. That's I right. It. They they want to drop their dirt. They like they <laughs> dump their dirt. It's like okay, well now I'm gonna dirt. I'm not gonna do my dirt now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, I, we want to move on now. Come on, we just gotta move on, man. Come on. What it's are you like, obsessed? Yeah, that's the one I saw yeah, yesterday. Right. It's like, oh, what do you mean? Am I obsessed? What the fuck? Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast. Not so fast. What's the rush? Move on. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> I, Let's say, I feel like I've, I've just settled in and we talked about this tuck stuff the other day. I mean, this guy's literally, you know, the, we talked about this with you. The guy that Flamenco sent to my bowling alley event to fuck with me is actually a guy who fucking raped his sister and, and then came on my show and just in another bizarre appearance, threatened me basically in my family, like live on air. Like these people are sick, honestly. Uh, and again, I'm not putting everybody in that same category, obviously because he's pretty fucked. Um, but it's not that abnormal. I mean, there's, there's a lot of sick degenerate people over there. Um, and it's kind of a hive of that. And we talked about, you know, just, 
just to tie back into the to the bitch we're talking about today. You know, it's Andy Vitrani. Like, there's there's a definite political bent to it. It's not just oh, lol, we're laughing. Uh, that's not what it is at all. They're trying to take people out. Um, that's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, and it's. Uh... Particularly for me, it's political. Sure. At least the people that uh, amplify that, the people that push that, you cannot divorce it from the political context, which is sure. a, it's the only pro-white, Christian, explicitly Christian nationalist movement in America. And that's why, of course, the ADL, the SPLC, Antifa, all the usual suspects are just they're they're salivating when they see this kind of stupid bullshit um, from traitors. So, you know, of course it's political, but, but I got to go, I got to go, sure. I got to eat lunch, but uh, I no just want to drop in and, uh, and let you know about that. I think it's going to be, I a think lot that's pretty fun, good so promo. To it. Glad I got to talk yeah. to you and we got to set that up, sir. Mr. Nick Fuentes, America first tonight, I assume, sir. Uh, that's right. Yep. Nine o'clock central. Very good. Also Bibble coming to cozy.tv. I'm pretty excited about that as well. That's right. Yes, we'll be uh, setting him up this week, so it should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Very good. Thank you, Nick, man. Looking forward to it. All right. Thanks, man. See ya. Peace out. All right. Later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.